Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. How are you doing? Hopefully you are doing well. Oh, come on. Get back in there, come on. Right, we're using a mixture of, uh, there we go, that's better. It's because I'm flicking between keyboard and mouse. I'm having a problem with this at the moment. Um, as in, you know, when I use the controller on Train Sim World and then I use the mouse, it doesn't like flicking from back to forth. It used to be alright and then it stopped and now it started again. Somebody said it might be my processor and stuff, but I thought my PC would be beefy enough. Anyway, sorry. Let's get back to it. Welcome aboard Passengers Mega Sim. We are on Great Western Express and look at that. We're on the new update that came out uh, earlier this week. So we now have the passenger information screen on the train and at the station and in the train as well. I don't know why I'm opening the door. Uh, no, it's that way. There it is. See? London Paddington. So let's uh, get started. Okay, so let's go for that. That uh, that we'll also flick on that. There we go. Okay. Does sound good though, doesn't it? Anyway, hopefully you're all doing well. Do you know, it's been three weeks since I've been on Train Sim World. Just with Scotland and other stuff that's been going on at home and things, I've not been on Train Sim World for three weeks. That's a long time. A very long time. So what's the difference? Well, there have been a few changes to the train itself, the sounds, the uh, different way that it works with braking and acceleration. You've got the passenger information screens now on Great Western Express, a couple of fixes on there as well. Plus, we've got a new train on this line. That's right, a new train on this line. What could it be? Well, we'll find out, because it's at Ealing Broadway. Now, I've already kind of said about this. Is this kind of... Should it have happened? Should we see this train at Ealing Broadway? Because technically it's not correct. At all. Oh, we should have started braking earlier. There's an underground train there. Yeah, we're way over. Oh, is there supposed to be one there? Anyway, so let's get up. So weird. Oh, HST. Ba -ba -ba. Nice. So yeah, this is the new passenger information screen. Um, there's one here that's not on there. That's a bit weird, but I guess there might be like a blank one. But there is an underground train there. Now, we know that this line here and that line there are central line trains. Um, and then the ones further along are district line trains. Uh, now, why is there a Bakerloo line train on the central line train uh, thing. Now, 
I'm not going to do this uh, because I will ruin this whole video. But what I want you to do is I want you to get in that train and start it up. Next time you go on Great Western Express, go in that train, start it up, and tell me what happens. Oh, the doors are still open. That's a new one. See you later, guys. Bye. Don't know why you're all piling up there. The exit's down there, even though there isn't one on here. So, let's uh, shut that door. Yeah. Nice. So, actor main lines the next stop. What is your drink of choice for today's video? I've got a nice cup of tea, just a small one today. Just a small cup of tea today, not a big, large cup of tea. Uh, we have forgotten to uh, do that. Gauge dimmer is now on. Oh, we also forgot to put the train lights on. Sorry, passengers. Uh, you couldn't see. It was pitch black in there. But yeah, just want to have a look on the line itself. See what's different. Especially, you know, with the Acton sidings and Paddington as well. I have a quick look in Paddington. So we've got a few trucks in there now. So it's not empty anymore like it used to be. There's a, an EWS Class 66 there. Well, there's a couple of them there. Yeah, there's two EWS 66s, look. Nice one. I do love this Thames Turbo Class 166. It is, it is lovely. I used to love going on these into London. Looks like we've got a fast one going through. Stop at the right point. Yeah, slightly under. Anyway, let's have a look at the passenger information screen. So, as you can see, 1331, uh, 231 and 331. Uh, and, oh, look, it's saying we're running late, which is correct. We are. Expected 1333. Calling at London Paddington. So these used to tell you the different stations, I believe, and it used to kind of not be scrolling. It used to kind of like fizzle out. But I remember them back in the day. Let's get back in here. Come on. Oh, he's going down quite a few steps quite quickly. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to neutralize myself. Oh. Do you know what? I'm going to try something here. I'm going to put it up in full. And then I'm going to close the doors. And see if we can accelerate immediately. 
Yeah. That's a new one for me. Oh yeah. Also another thing. Yeah, these ones have been updated, but just think at one point those lights would have had the British Rail logo like the uh, 465 does. I really want to go on a 166 again, but they're just in awkward places down in the southwest in Bristol and Swindon, Wales and stuff like that. Just never get a chance to go down there. You know, we went to Cornwall, we went on the 150, that was good. Uh, went on the HST, and then as you know from our Scott Rail and you know our trip to Scotland, we went on the Pen uh, Pendolino, the Azuma, uh, 150, uh, 150, 170, and we went on a Scott Rail HST. It's pretty good. Quite happy about that. And we got to see the Midland Pullman. It was also exciting to see. Yeah, hopefully we'll be doing some more trips, train real worlds this uh, summer. Going away for a few weeks here and there, so hopefully we'll uh, be able to do some more train real worlds um, at different places around the country because you know we don't know how long these HSDs are going to last Scott Rail I think extended their uh, their options you know to keep them on a little bit longer so that's good um, not sure on Great Western yet because they keep you know, threatening to uh, get rid of them. So one six six down there. Look at that some HSTs over there. I'd like to go back on a HST again, especially the Great Western ones. Yeah, because you just don't know how long they're going to be till they're gone. You know, I could say, oh, you know, next year I'll go down to Cornwall. And that could be it. It could be gone. Nothing official yet, but just rumours. You never know. You know, Great Western could be uh, putting in a bid for some new trains to kind of get rid of them and the 150s and stuff like that. Oh, why am I? Totally forgot about the uh, speed reduction there. Okay. What have we got in the station? Nothing. Of course. <laughs> of course we got nothing. Oh, never mind. Be good if they would uh, if DTG would create a new timetable for this route. Needs it's had a lot of love in this update, but new timetable would be nice. Here's our cross rail, Elizabeth Line, TFL Rail, Purple Line. Don't forget, you Jeff lovers. It's an underground line, isn't it? Yeah, Elizabeth line is an underground line. <laughs> so for the next um, few weeks, just because I've got a lot of stuff on, I'm going to try and stick to uh, Saturday and Sunday episodes at the moment, um, just because of holidays and things like that. So I'll try and blitz some uh, videos to go out. If I'm able to do some during the week as well, you will definitely see them. But I'm going to try and stick to Saturday and Sunday over the next few weeks. Um, yeah, just because of timings and stuff like that. Start to slow down a little bit more. Oh yeah, that is a good cup of tea today.
Okay, so what platform are we going into? It just says London Mannington. Here we go, platform 12. Or is it 11? Let's have a look. It's 11. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's stick the uh, signal on. And we'll turn the engine off. We'll uh, close the doors, or uh, we'll close the driver door. We'll open up that one, and we'll. No, no, not that one. That one. Okay. Oh, there is a bit of bleeding, isn't there? Uh, tail. Look. Oh well. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Right. So let's have a look here. So we've got. London Paddington, nice and quiet, nice and quiet. Oh, I just thought, they're rush hour people. Nice, we've got the rush hour passengers on Great Western. That's good, isn't it? Lock those doors. And that is it, everyone. Got a gold medal? Nope, silver, because I was speeding and I was here late as well. But that's fine. Right then, so uh, let's. Let's have a look. Is there anything coming in? No. Oh, what's that? Ha! Ah, it wants me to start already. Ha! Ah, yeah, right. So what we'll do is uh, the next minute or so it's going to kind of go, oh, yeah, 13.42. So it literally was now that he wants me to leave. And look, Greenford is mentioned on there. Oh. Okay. She's already in there, ready and raring to go. So, go. Go. 51, go. No? Okay. It's probably going to let me, uh, it's probably going to give me a warning and say, right, you need to uh, give up this train or else. And I'll go, fine, fine. When will it ask us? I'd say around 44. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Lovely, lovely stuff. And there she goes. That's very weird that it didn't ask me to give up that train. I 
it going or is it stopping? No, no, it's still going. Anyway, let's have a look. So we've got Reading at 14.12. Oh, excuse you. So we've got Reading at 14.12. 14.50. Uh, Oxford formed of three coaches so there should be if it's 1450 there should be a train coming in why is there a 1457 wow there it comes zooming in that's going to be here a bit late isn't it that's literally coming straight in and straight out. Uh, Bedwin, quarter past. Wait a minute. Two fifty. It's one fifty at the moment. Idiot. Right. That's the forty twelve to Reading, which is probably that one that's coming in. And we've got the fourteen eighteen formed to three coaches. Nothing for platform seven. Nothing for platform six. Why is that? Let me know in the comments. Platform five, three coaches, 1421 to Worcester. Uh, we've got the HST Bristol Temple Meads at three o'clock. Swansea, HST, Penzance. So this is what we did, didn't we? We were on uh, on here all the way to St. Earth. So I'd love to go to Penzance next time. So Exeter and Davids, Reading, Exeter and Davids, Totnes, Plymouth, Liscard. Bodmin, Pass, and Austell Truro, Red Ruth, Camborne, and St. Earth. And then this one to Morton in Marsh. Never heard of Morton in Marsh. I will admit, I've not heard of that before. That town. Morton in Marsh. But yeah, it's nice that we've got the pasture information screens now. Thinking of uh, that, have they? Yeah. So these guys just don't move, but they still rush our passengers, which is quite cool. So there it goes. So there's um, Acton Main Line. So we'll try and figure out when that kind of comes into the station because we're technically still driving that train. So let's see what it does. I person, well, I say I personally think, I think that train should be coming into that platform there, but 1342. Greenford, that's old, that should have been updated. 1746 to Reading, that is hours away. Same one. Let's have a look over here for um, 13 and 14. What have we got? 1442 and 1427. So I do think that that all. Oh. Wow, Oxford from platform 14. It's a long slog, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at this map. Whoa, hey! Love it. Right. Don't look, everyone. It's this one, isn't it, that I think it's going to be. Here he comes. And let's see where our train is currently. Uh, there, it's just coming into. Uh, there it is, Acton Main Line. Oh, we've got another one coming in. I'd love to have seen a HST here. Never mind. Bit of a shame that there is uh, an issue with um, livery editor for Great Western. For the HST, not sure if it's actually coming. I don't know if that's official or not. 
I don't think it's actually coming to uh, train so well. We're not going to get livery editor. Um, I think that might be rumours or it might be official. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get the HST. Um, that would have been lovely. I would have loved the HST. Um, especially with some of you guys with your liveries. Man, those liveries are pretty decent that you do. Um, there's one that I'll be showing on another episode. And it's uh, an amazing freight truck that's uh, mega sim related. So... Uh, yeah, you'll probably see that in a in an upcoming video. Uh, but if not, just uh, just type in Mega. Don't type in Mega Sim because sometimes they put Mega and then Space Sim. Just put Mega, um, and you'll be able to see some of the liveries that people have created, uh, viewers have created um, for the channel. So yeah, it's really cool to see that. Um, it'd be lovely to do a competition for that, but I know that there's some really good ones out there and. Maybe some ones that aren't very good, like myself. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's there. Why is it this one? Okay. I'm going to uh, begin that one because I want the points. <laughs> so yeah, even though we didn't give up that train, it did carry on using us. So that's what was quite weird about it. So this is a number four to London Paddington. So this has actually come from... Uh, oh. Uh, it's not going to do it. Is it going to give us 250 points or is it going to give us more? So this was like a secret thing that I showed you uh, a few weeks ago. Maybe they fixed it in this update that we can't use it and abuse it and get loads of points from it. But we'll see. Wow, that's a lot of passengers for that train. A lot of passengers. They're very quiet though. Don't really talk much. It doesn't like doing the sound on those doors when I'm outside. Six, seven, seven, four, nine. No. Didn't get the extra points this time. Never mind. We did try. But yeah, that is that's that does it for us today on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's just so quiet. Just wanna look at that, that's nice. That's a nice shot there. Look, I just wanna go eleven thirty, okay? So let's go here, explore on foot, original. Yeah, continue. Eleven twenty-five. Okay, and we'll get to see HST. Okay, I just want to see HST before we go. Oh yes, now we've got HSTs. really doesn't like me doing that. Okay. Oh, it's not letting me... Uh... Okay. Come on. Shut that door. Okay, so this is first class. We know this looks very similar to the Scott Rail first class. Because Scott Rail have this, but without the GWR bit. <clears throat> is the very large buffet car. We know that that isn't as big on the Scott Rail, but here are the seats. We sat on these seats, didn't we? On the uh, 
the four car castle set uh, with the uh, plug sockets there but with the uh, Great West uh, the Scott Rail the, those plugs are upside down which is quite cool which just allows you to uh, use all types of plugs but yeah I am looking forward to going back on this uh, let's sit sit there look at that it's just cool to see that in real life as well but anyway um that does it here guys we will see you on the next video there's the toilet if only we're just walking up the uh and look at that it's the staff access only thing the same as what we had Okay. Staff access only. It is sealed. Oh, that's a 12 o'clock one. So where's the 11:30? Uh, I guess it's this one. Yep, this is the 11:30. want to stop the engine look at that it's not wanting me to control it at all who pressed that Anyway, so if we sit in this seat, oh look at that, we don't need to, let's sit in the second man's seat. Oh, what's going? There goes uh, Thames Turbo. Nice one there. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting in that seat very badly, aren't I? Anyway, right. So, let's... Uh Are we waiting for this? Yeah, just wait for this and then we'll go. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let me know that you care. Subscribe for more videos. Social media links are in the description below. As you know, we are on YouTube. We're on Facebook Gaming. And uh, yeah, we will see you on the next video. The schedule is empty. Let's just wait for this uh, person to appear. Oh yeah, the contact signal is there. Nice. wait for them to just bing, appear there we go oh Okay, so we immediately are moving. That's immediate, that was. Anyway, I think that does it for us here. We will see you. I don't know where we are now. At the back at the front it all looks pretty good to me anyway thank you very much guys we'll see you on the next video this 
Is Mega Sim out of here? It's not allowing me to do anything. Anyway, see you soon, guys. Bye.